Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, bind my skeleton for this ship to the mesh and see how I can paint the weights to get the animations to work correctly. You see I've got some movement on my joints already. What I'm going to do is select the skeleton system at the root, shift select the ship and say skin, bind the skin, smooth bind options hit reset just to make sure everything is set up correctly it says max influence is at five I'm gonna put that down to two I'm going to put the drop off up to ten and make sure that my um, normalized weights is in interactive mode and bind method I'm gonna say Closest in distance, I'm going to leave it as. I want to, yeah, want to join the hierarchy. So if you do apply, when it turns purple, you know it's working. And let's just scrub the anima animation to see how good the bind worked for me. And you can see, wow, I've got some crazy distortion there. So what I can do is now say skin. Uh, sorry, edit smooth skin, paint skin weight tools options, and so that actually it won't paint because I've actually not selected the mesh. So select the mesh. Let's try that again. Skin, edit smooth skin, paint skin weight tools options, and there we go. And what you're seeing now is the paint method, where it's solid white means that I have 100% control of those vertices in relation to those joints and where it's fall off from white to black and obviously the shade of grey I have less influence so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my paint operation is replace my value for right now is going to be 1 because I need to go to my int root and I'm going to just try and paint out everything that I think should be weighted to the root. So I is maximizing all these wing areas. I think these should be 100% to the root areas here. Just by painting it out. we go and I know it's it, it be working because what I can do while still in this mode I can scrub and you can see that the distortion that was happening on the wing is gone I still got a little bit on the face so if I make that all white there we go bringing it out if I try and animate there we go it's locked it down see very little movement is so now it's just a question of how far down do I want to go and if like me you like to change the brush size without having coming back to the radius selector you can hold down your B key and left slide your mouse and that will change your brush size allows you to get in and get the more into the more tighter areas Oops, locking it down Just trying to make it as locked down as possible there we go and again Let's test it by sliding my time bar. You can see that the motion now is all on the legs. All that distortion that was hap happening in the face and the wing is now gone. Now I can start thinking about some of these more 
shared vertices so I'm going to actually push this down to 0.5 It's still a little bit high, let's push that one up there to one. I think it had some slight influence and then maybe 0.75 I think on that one. Yeah, let's put 0.75 on the rest of those joints. Sorry, rest of those verts along those joints. That's better. And now I can start going down to the other limbs. So this one here, left hip. Well, left hip. You could say it should be there, if anything, left hip should have control here <coughs> and here. Fine, actually, yes. let's go back to the integer and put that, I'm going to put that back up to one. Actually, I don't want left hip to control that. There we go. And if I go down to the left knee, to the left hip, let's bring that down to point three five there, and just paint that there. There we go. So I'm actually just trying to guesstimate how much influence I want. Ooh, okay, that was kind of a crazy amount so in fact let's go to the left knee let's give that more control let's try and force it the other direction there we go that's better if I go down to left ankle because I haven't really done a lot of animation I'm going to try and push that one up to one on the ankle. There we go, it's got more control over it. And then go do the same thing for the, f uh, the front claw. So if I come down, see that you've got left elbow, I'm going to give that more control. The scrub, there we go. It's a little bit too much. Left shoulder, let's go to point 0.9. Let's go. Oops, no. Okay. Uh, let's just bring it down to point. So I'm basically just shifting the value weighting around. I end up with a nice. Combination left elbow. Let's bring that up. Here we go. So I can just influence those. It's a little bit, a little bit too much there. Let's go back to left shoulders. Ooh, way too much. Might even have to go up back to hit to kit that one back. So left shoulder. So might have to go to. There we go. Let's go back to the root and just lock that one down. Left shoulder. Let's bring that down to about point two. got a little bit too much play in that but at that point you can see where I'm going and you know a little bit more work and it'll be locked down so what I'm going to do now is do a save just to record this and then rather than paint the other side 
I'm going to say skin edit through skin paint skin weight tools options just to see what I've got and then I will say skin edit through skin mirror skin weight options to mirror across the YZ to the other side so if I do apply close that I should be able to now come into this mode go to frame 15 Just move this, pull it down. I should see a similar kind of movement. And weighting is almost the same. I've got a little, obviously, I've got to fix how I'm going to address that little buckle out there on the joint. If I look at the rear leg, let's just put that into 15. Pull that one down. Move it back up. Put it there we go. Yeah, so the weighting is pretty much the same. So a little bit of cleanup, and that's ready to rock and roll. Okay, so it's just just uh, another video example of um, it. Basically, we can call it um, one of my workshops of how I rig, uh, create controls, and weight. Um, for the assets that I sell on my website and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, video see ya